Hey YouTube, it's TechSpark on Bad, and guess who likes Google Chrome? I've been using Google Chrome for a couple days now, and frankly, I've come to love it. So today I'm going to review it, and also show you guys a couple of cool stuff that you could do with it. <clears throat> okay, so the first thing, the most important thing in Google Chrome is that it automatically imports everything for you. When you download it, it automatically imports everything from Firefox, Internet Explorer, or any other web browser that you have. It automatically imports every bookmarks, everything for you, so you don't have to worry about that. Um, another cool thing is that when you type in a website, for example, YouTube.com, it automatically brings up um, popular sites, searches, and pages that you already visited, for example, in your browsing history. And also, you don't even have to type the whole thing. For example, if you have been to YouTube.com before and you type, for example, you, it automatically brings up the rest of it for you. So all you have to do is press the right arrow key and press enter and it automatically goes to YouTube.com. Another cool feature is that if you type in, for example, YouTube.com and press tab after you're done, before pressing enter, if you press tab, it automatically lets you search that site. So YouTube.com, then press tab before pressing enter and let's search tech support gone bad. And if we search tech support gone bad and press enter, it automatically goes to the search place that um, on YouTube that uh, comes up with all the tech support gone bad videos or whatever you search. So instead of having to type in YouTube.com and then pressing in the search toolbar on YouTube.com and typing in tech support gone bad and pressing enter, you could just automatically do it in the browser toolbar. As simple as that. Okay, another cool feature, new t you could um, open up new tabs in Google Chrome. Now, I know you guys are saying, oh, new tabs, that's old stuff. But it's not, really. If you press this plus sign right here, it opens a new tab. And while opening a new tab, not only does it just open a new tab, it brings up your most visited sites, it brings up your search engines and recent bookmarks, and it brings up um, your recently closed tabs. Obviously, I just opened Google Chrome, so I don't have any recently closed tabs. But if we close YouTube.com right here, and then open, and it automatically updates itself, and it says recent, recently closed tabs, YouTube broadcasting your, broadcast yourself. So it just says I um I closed YouTube.com. <clears throat> Another cool thing is that you could click and drag the tabs. So for example, let's say I I have my YouTube page up here. And on my other tab, I have, for example, my MySpace. To, and I, if I want my MySpace to come before my YouTube page, I could just click on it and drag it. And then you, I could organize them. I could put them in any order I want. And a new feature, they don't have this in Firefox, Internet Explorer, and they don't have this in any of them. It's, not only can you just move the tabs around, you could also, for example, if you want to open a new window, you could just click and drag the tab down into a new window it's freaking awesome so yeah so let me just close that window another new feature it just keeps coming and coming and coming another new feature on Google Chrome is incognito mode what incognito mode is is if you click right here and you press new incognito window or uh, control shift and N or command shift N if you're on a Mac um, it opens up a new incognito window now what an incognito window does is basically what it says. It doesn't it doesn't go into the history of Google Chrome. It doesn't do anything. Like n nobody could know that you were on that website on Google Chrome. So um it, uh websites will still be able to get your information, but once you close that window, no information will be uh open from that website. So you can't check into the browsing history, the history, nothing like that. So that's another cool feature in Google Chrome. Okay. Another thing is that let's say you go to a bad website. Google automatically, like a, what I mean by bad website is a website that has like virus, malware, any stuff like that. Google Chrome would automatically give you a warning message saying that this type has blah, 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 and you should not go on it. Now, if you want to go on it, that's on you. You could press continue and go on it. But obviously, why would you want to get spyware, malware, any type of virus? So obviously, you could just get away from that page and get and be risk free <clears throat> another thing that you could do is easy bookmarks so let's type in yahoo.com <clears throat> if I want to bookmark it 
All I have to do is press this little star right next to it, and it automatically just bookmarks it. I could change the name and the folder I want to save it in. So it automatically just bookmarks it. <clears throat> Instead of having to go to like file, bookmark, or whatever, you could just press that little star and it automatically bookmarks it for you. <clears throat> so also another cool thing is that um, you could actually make new folders. So when you bookmark something, you can make a new bookmark folder. You could make a new folder, stuff like that. <clears throat> so yeah, um, Google Chrome is really awesome. It has a lot of cool features. Um, also, the I have the download link to the right in the video description. So click on that. Go ahead and download it. And also, speaking of downloading, Google Chrome has an awesome feature of downloading stuff, <clears throat> which makes it easier for everyone. So I have this little um, uh, games uh, website. I don't know what it's called, but I just got it because it has really small. Um, it has uh, games that are less than two megabytes long, so I could download it really fast. So I can show you guys what it does. <clears throat> so um, all you have to do is press download, and Google Chrome automatically opens this thing for you, and it shows you the download. It shows you how much download, uh, how much downloaded it is, how many seconds left it is, and stuff like that. So once it's done downloading, you could drag it to your desktop. You could click on it, so the this little window pops up, so you could click run or cancel, or you could press press on this little um, arrow thing and you, for more options. So yeah, um, as I said, again, Google Chrome, really awesome web browser, but obviously keep in mind this is the beta version of it, so obviously it's going to have a couple glitches, but I haven't seen any so far, I've been using it for a couple days, I haven't seen any glitches so far, but nothing's perfect, no beta thing is perfect, so there's bound to be a couple of them. But other than that, Google Chrome is a really awesome website, or not website, <laughs> a really awesome web browser, I'm go I for one, I'm going to make it my... Um, my default web browser. So yeah, um, the link to the d the download link for Google Chrome is to the right in the video description. Click on it, download Google Chrome, and tell me what you think.